Alright guys, so let's get ourselves warmed up. We're just going to start off with 50 seconds of jogging on the spot. Every 10 second interval, you're going to do one squat and then uh, carry on jogging after that. So 50 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one. There you go. So just jogging on the spot, nice and light. Trying to get your legs warm, trying to get all the muscles in your body warm, trying to get the blood pumping around the body. Warm yourself up. That's 10. So squat. Remember, every 10th second, we will be performing a squat just so we can get ourselves ready and loose and loosen up those hips. Squat, loosen up those hips. Ready for the rest of the leg workout. So, squat, 20 seconds left. You're then going to have a 10 second break. And then you're going to repeat this three times. Squat. And after that, we should be nice and warm, ready to move into some more leg movements. Three, two, one, squat, and relax there. Good, 10 seconds. Back into it in three, two, one, back into jogging, good. So you know, start to get the arms involved now, maybe start to bring the knees up a little higher. Good stuff, and squat. And start jogging again, good. So you know, it should be loosening up a little bit. Squat should be flowing a lot easier. Muscle should be warm, squat. And you should be feeling slightly more ready than when we started this workout. Two, one, we're gonna squat now. Keep going, try and keep that chest up. Three, two, one, squat. Good stuff. Three, two, one, last squat. Good, take a 10 second rest. So keep breathing. Three more seconds of rest. Here we go, jogging again. Last bit of jogging. So we're getting nice and warm, nice and loose now. Squat. Could be starting to, you know, struggle a bit. Squat. It's definitely getting a bit harder. This is the final round of it before we move into some more leg movements. So nice and light on the toes still. Squat. Nice and light on the toes using those calves. Again, bringing the knees up maybe a little higher even. More so than last round. Squat. Last 10 seconds. Here we go. And squat. Good. So, let's move into the next movements. The first one we're going to do is an 180 degrees jumping squat. Sounds complicated, it's really not. You're going to have 30 seconds to perform as many as you can. So, what you're going to do, you're going to Face one way, you're going to squat down. Then you're going to jump up, twist your body, turn the other way. Squat down, twist the other way. Squat down, twist. Squat down, twist. Try and make sure you're not just going in one big circle because you will end up feeling very dizzy and very confused. And it's going to make it way harder than it needs to be. So 30 seconds of that, as many as you can. Following that, what you're going to do is some crab walks. So side to side, you can get into that squatting position. You're just going to walk across maybe two meters or so, and then you're going to come back the other way. Staying in that squat position the whole time, walking sideways like a crab for 30 seconds. You're going to have 20 second rest. And you're going to repeat that a total of three times. So it's 180 degree jumping squats, crab walks, rest, Three times. So let's begin. 30 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one. So jumping squats. Twist. 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 It's definitely difficult keeping your balance. Make sure you're squatting correctly. Ten more seconds. 
Definitely not an easy one. Hence why we've waited until today to introduce it. Good, so the crab walks now. So, slight squat. Not a full one, side to side, good. And then back the other way. So here you've got abduction of the hip, working the glute as well. In this half squat position, you're gonna be working the quads and some glutes as well. Definitely gonna to start to be burning on those quads if you're low enough. Good, and relax there, nice. So you're going to have 20 seconds rest before we do that all over again. So keep breathing, keep walking about, make sure those muscles are moving. Good start. Five more seconds rest. Three, two, one. Into those rotating squats. Seconds. The fact of having to jump up and rotate causes more explosive contractions. Good, so it's that crab walk now. So a little squat. Now, good. Try to keep those hands out in front. Ah, definitely starting to burn on the quads now. Keep that chest up, keep low, keep the bend in the knees. Good, two, one, and relax there. 20 seconds of rest. Get your breath back, walk about, grab yourself a drink. We've got one more round to complete after this short 20 second rest. 10 more seconds of rest remaining. All right, drop my timer, here we go, three, Two, one. We squat and rotate. Good start. Try and keep that chest up. Try and be nice and explosive so you get enough height so you're able to fully rotate. 10 more seconds. Good, that crab walks now. So, small squat, side, side, and back. Make sure the knees are bent enough so you're actually putting some load onto those quads. Good. 10 more seconds. Three. Two, one, and relax there. Good stuff. Shake out the legs. So, last movement. We have high knees with punches. So, relatively simple. We've definitely done high knees before, and you know, everyone's done punches. So, I'll just quickly demo it for you. It's going to be 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off for four rounds. So, it's going to be high knees, chest is nice and up. At the same time, you're going to be punching across. So left comes across, right comes across. Left comes across, right comes across. It's alternating. So here we go. I'll just show you full flow. Very difficult. Definitely going to kill you last, last little bit. Definitely going to hit the cardio. So 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four rounds. Nice and simple structure. We'll begin the first 10 seconds in three, two, one, good. So high knees, cross, cross. So keep breathing, keep that chest up. Halfway there already. Make sure those knees are kept nice and high. Two, one, good, and rest there, 10 seconds rest. 
I don't want anyone sitting down, I don't want anyone stopping moving. We keep moving during the rest, we keep the blood flowing around the body. Supplying all the muscles with the oxygen they need, good. Five more seconds, three, two, one, high knees with the punches. Good. gets those legs working, gets, a, gets the upper body moving as well with the rotations of the punches. Good stuff. Five more seconds of rest. Here we go. Let's go. An ultimate round. Keep punching. Keep those knees nice and high. Five. Four, three, two, one. Good. Rest for 20 seconds. We've got one more round left, guys. Keep it up. Keep walking about. Get that breath back. Good. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Last bit. Come on, get those knees up as high as you can. Get those punches nice and solid. Keep that breathing going. 10 seconds. Last little bit. Three, two, one. Good stuff, guys. Woo. Good stuff. Go and stretch off now. That's the workout over. You can relax, rest, go and eat something, is what I advise. Attack the day. Hope you had a good workout, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks, guys.